Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and we're going to do core on the floor. We're using the Cardio Golf Fit Slope. If you don't have this, then you can do everything just on a flat surface or find something similar to simulate your slope. You can get yours at cardiogolf.com. So just go ahead and sit on your feet. Make sure your feet are flat, and then you're just rocking back and forth, kind of activating your ankles, your knees, your thighs. Then just kind of rock back and forth. Then put your hands on the slope and stretch out your core and back. So we're just doing some rockers. You're trying to get your ears between your elbows and feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors. Start to concentrate on your core. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Then you can rock side to side, get a little oblique stretch. This is great to stretch out, prepare yourself for all the exercises that we're going to be doing. If you're doing okay with your knees, put one foot forward and get a nice little hip flexor stretch connected to your core so you want to have these stretched out and then add a little rotation. Inhale one direction, exhale the other direction. A dynamic warm up before we do all our core exercises. Repeat on the other side. Nice hip flexor stretch. You should feel that in your hip flexor. Start to stretch your oblique muscles and your core. Add rotation. That should feel good. From here, turn around and just use your slope as a bench and put your heels together, toes apart. Get a little stretch going in your groin, your inner thighs. Try to straighten your back, roll your shoulders away from your ears, and you're just holding this stretch, maybe rocking a little bit, just trying to feel a good stretch in those inner thighs. Put your feet together, knees together, add a twist, hook your elbow, and then use the slope to traction your back, twist one direction, hold it for a few seconds, and then go to the other side. Do a little rotation, turning your upper body separately from the lower body. This is what we do in golf. So flip around and the modification is you're on your knees and your elbows are up on the slope and you're just hanging out in a plank position on your knees like this. If you can, you're going to go up on your toes and we're just holding for about 10 to 15 seconds. Keeping a nice plank line, holding your belly, pull, pulling it in. It's kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on down. Stretch out your arms and then the modification is on your knees stretching out and this is a great exercise for golfers especially if you tend to chicken wing that arm goes this way so this is great to practice extending your wrist and your elbows and this is helping you develop some core strength upper body strength really good for wrist strength as well. If this is too much, go back to the elbow plank. And then if you can, you are on your feet, holding a push-up position. Push the slope away from you. Really engage those shoulders, your back, your core, stretching your heels as far away from your head as possible. Hold, hold, hold and come down and rest. All right, from here, you're going to flip on your back and the slope weighs eight pounds, so it's a good medium size weight. So we're gonna hold this like this and then your knees and your elbows are bent and then you're going to extend your legs and arms and then you're gonna crunch in and extend out.
And the last one, hold, hold, hold in a boat pose. And then gently come up. You're going to set the slope down. From here, feet together. And then we're just using the slope to twist side to side. So try to turn your upper body over the resistance of your lower body. Twisting in both directions. And then stretch it out. You can widen your hips, hinge from your hips, and then use the slope to traction yourself and get a good stretch. All right, you're going to pick up your slope again, put your feet and knees together. This time we're going to sweep down. So as if you were gonna set the slope down on one side, bring it to the center, and then set it to the other side. So we're using some arms, some shoulders, and your core. Spread your feet out, put your slope down, and then your heels are on the slope and scoot your rear end in close to the edge. Place your palms on the floor, really press your back and shoulders into the floor, and then you're going to lift up into a bridge. Hold it for an inhale and roll down one vertebrae at a time until your tailbone touches, rest at the bottom, and then power up. Really squeeze, feel a nice plank line, and then lower down with control. You should feel this in your hamstrings, in your hip flexors, your glutes. Hug your knees in. Massage your low back. It's a great, great, great stretch. From here, you are going to use the slope as a Pilates arc, and then lay your arm down and do a nice stretch, holding the top of your arm and really trying to stretch your obliques. From here, twist, modified cobra. I'm just hooking my elbows on the slope and I'm really feeling a twist in my obliques. If you wanna intensify this, walk your hands to the opposite side and you'll really feel a nice twist. Roll over, do that same thing here. Nice sideline stretch. So you're taking your top arm and really stretching it out. Then you're doing a modified cobra. Again, these are really golf-like exercises where your upper body is twisting separately from your lower body. Then you are going to stretch out to the other side. You'll really feel this in your hip flexors. Breathe just to let that muscle release. And every time you do this, you should be able to stretch out a little bit more. Great guys. All right, from here, bring your slope with you. And we'll just do a little golf like exercise. You can see I'm just holding the slope like this in my golf posture. And then I'm going to rotate and try to extend my arms down. Now when I come down, my right arm because I'm right handed stays under the left arm. And then I'm going to rotate through impact and finish the swing. A slicer would go to the top and then the right arm would go over and they would do this action here. And then when they finish, they would try to fix it by doing a chicken wing. So that it's a rotation. There's a little shift. So the right arm comes underneath. Then there's a rotation at impact and you keep rotating through on the follow through. 
So this might be a lot for some people. You might just have to work up to this. You might just have to mimic the motion, but this is a great way to practice the movement of your swing. So rotate, shift, rotate. That's your core on the floor using the cardio golf fit slope.